guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. I am out and about in the world looking for turtle eggs. Found a couple turtles, and we have some eggs. I do have a silk touch pick, so we can actually grab these. But there we go. Three turtle eggs. Uh, I mean, that's plenty for now. So, uh, last episode, we built a storage room slash starter house and we killed the wither for a uh, nether star and we've completed three uh, or two vault crystals and this turtle egg right here that we just grabbed is going to make grabbing another vault crystal pretty easy so we actually are once i get home we're actually going to have three vault crystals and I think today what I want to do is run three vaults because that's really what it comes down to in this mod pack for progress. You got to run vaults. You got to get those resources, gain the experience, level up, all that kind of good stuff so you can get farther and farther uh, into the mods and all that kind of stuff. So that's the plan. I'm going to head home. I'm going to plug this in, get our third vault crystal, and then we'll see. Maybe we could even do four today. We'll have to take a look. All right, my friends, got my potions all situated, got my inventory all sorted out. I think we are ready to go. Vault number one. What do we got? Looks like no modifiers on the vault. Okay. What are we dealing with here? We have a sunken treasure ship of some sort. I'm assuming that there's chests in here. Yes, although nothing particularly great in that chest at least. What about over here? I'm honestly just, like, I don't care that much about the diamonds. I'm basically just looking for vault ores. Uh, oh, we got stuff over here too. I will take the compressed blocks. Um... Nothing else. Hmm. Okay. Well, kind of a bad starting room, to be honest, but that's okay. Uh, let's just move on, and we'll go north. Ah! One of these. Okay, we've, we've seen this room before. There are chests... Uh... Around here, somewhere. I know I've seen them. Hmm. Down here. Okay. Ooh, I see... Oh! Go away, baby zombie. Break the spawner. There we go. Now we can do this a little more peacefully. Grab the golden apples for sure. The wither skeleton skull, absolutely. Never know when you're going to need one of those. Uh, I think I'll just let you guys get all hung up on the spawners. Oh, hi. Break this. Surely this will lead to something useful, right? No? Nothing. Just, just a lot of string. Was really hoping we'd find a treasure chest down there. It feels like there should be one. Ooh. This looks promising. Another wither skeleton skull. Okay. There's another chest hiding over here. Hey, there's some good stuff finally. Okay. I mean, so far, I gotta say, this vault has been fairly disappointing. Aha! Turns out that this room had a few more chests up here after all. And some of them have some good stuff in them. So, worth pillaring up. Looks like this doesn't actually go any higher than that, though. So, I guess now, from this room, we will go east. Uh, oh, okay. There's definitely a spawner here of some sort hiding underneath. Okay. Chest... What about you? Mm, I don't really care. I'm, I'm not going for gold nuggets. I got better things to spend my limited inventory space on. Lots of chests in this room, though, so that's good. Okay, here we got some good stuff. 
Baby zombie? That's so many zombies. Oh, we got one of these guys. Yes. Give it ten levels, and then kill these zombies so I can open it in peace. Well, I was hoping. Here we go. Yes. Some good stuff in there. And I gotta keep an eye on my health a little bit, but I think I'm completely fine for now. Wow, that's a very good chest. Okay, we're still fine. Another Wither Skeleton Skull. So we've actually gotten three full Wither Skeleton Skulls just from this one vault, which is pretty great. Uh, so I think we got all the stuff down here. Oh, three hearts. Sure. I have a potion. Right? Yeah, I've got more potions. Uh, let's just dump all the stuff that we can. This is so many enemies. How are we doing on time? 12 minutes? I think at five minutes we'll start working our way back. But yeah, I will give you three hearts. And then I will take a healing potion immediately. Hopefully that ends up being worth it. It should, I would think. Mmm. We got a black opal. That's a very rare gem. Vault cookie, glowstone, a little bit of gold. Okay, yeah, I can live with that. I want to make sure I got plenty of time before we uh, run out of timer on the vault. So, uh, so from here, plus we got rooms over this direction we can still explore, which are closer to the entrance. Uh, also, our health is pretty low, and I don't really want to use another healing potion when we're so close to the end of the vault, if we can avoid it. Oh, it's a village room. Oh, man. And there's a portal. Okay. Um. This is an amazing room. But also a very dangerous one. First of all, break the spawner. Come on. Yeah, silverfish spawner needs to go. Seriously. Break the spawner. There we go. Why am I on... Where did the lava come from? All right, we need to heal. Must have been silverfish. Yo, enough. Guys. Guys. Okay, so the way this works is you toss an Eye of Ender into here. And I did actually bring an Eye of Ender specifically for this location. And those now all become gilded chests, which is insane. Oh, but we only have one minute. We're not going to be able to get all of these. All right, so you have to, like, mine them. And hope for the best. Don't get hit. All right. We got to go. We, oh, no, no, no. Lava. Lava bad. All right. Okay. We got to... Yeah, we need to leave. We don't have time. And as you mine them, they obviously... We're, we might not make it out of this bowl. Okay. We got to go. Like, right now. I... We only have, like, 20 seconds. Oh, this is bad. Come on. But, like, how could I not be greedy? Uh, we have eight seconds. We're not making it out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, we didn't come from this way either. We're going to die in the vault because I was greedy. Ah, rip. Oh, that's so unfortunate. We lost. I should have. I shouldn't have done it. I should have just gone. Mm, man, now I got to gear back up because we just lost all of our loot. Oh, and we lost our last two shulker boxes, too, which is really bad. 
thankfully, we still have our amazing fortune pick, and we do still have our wings, and uh, I don't actually have enough diamonds. Oh, no, I do. But I don't have enough netherite, so... Yeah, that's my own fault. I should have just left when I saw I only had one minute. I should have played it safe. Well, too late now. Well, it's a couple hours later, and after taking advantage of my villager trading hall and my enderman farm, I am fully geared up again. I also decided to do some end busting while I was here, because I, as I mentioned, I was completely out of shulker shells. And we did okay, I only found one that had a boat for the elytra, but... Uh, I did get 33 shulker shells, and I think I have one back at the base. So we should be able to make 17 shulker boxes. That should last us at least for a while. So that's good. Uh, but now it's time to head home and do vault number two. Okay, now that I've put everything away and grabbed the things that I need, vault number two of the episode. Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, it is a difficult vault, which means uh, it is going to be... Uh, you know what? Home. Let's just add a, uh, a little waypoint right there so I can find my way back. Uh, this is going to be a higher level vault than normal. So that is a bit of a concern. Uh, oh, I forgot to bring blocks. Uh, that's rather unfortunate. Oh, baby zombie, go away. But I mean, we can we can work with this. Um, this definitely feels like so okay. Mob spawner. Break. What's in here? Just a single diamond ore? Yeah, just a single couple diamond ore. Okay, that I, I don't really care that much. Um, anything else looking good? I mean, we should probably check the treasure ship. Ooh, black opal ore. That's actually quite rare, I believe. Uh, and a diamond block. I mean, sure. I will take it since it's a full... Oh, there are guardians that spawn in here? Excuse me? That's not good. Uh, we probably don't want to be underwater then very much if we can avoid it. There are no treasure chests that I can see. There are drowned. I mean, I suppose I could just... Yeah, you know what? We're just... Uh, I don't want to be here anymore. Ow. Three and a half hearts of damage in the first room. Not great. But again, this is a difficult vault. So the vault level of this, I believe, is 15 levels higher than normal. Or it's either 15 or 30. I can't remember. Just got to be real careful here. Uh, I do not... I mean, we're certainly not fighting the boss here. Oh, man. Guardians everywhere. Let's just do a little quick peek around for some vault ores down here. I do see one right... Oh, a couple, actually. Take this. We're just trying to break line of sight with the uh, guardians. Come on, get it. Oh, man. So much damage. I need to heal. Um, heal. No. All right, hold on. Do this. And let's just mine some blocks. Just give me... Oh, man. We might just dip. Like, I don't... I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> it's kind of annoying taking fall damage when... That's really bad. That's really bad. How long that poison last? Yeah, this is not good. All right, we need to heal for sure. Once I use... If I use my other healing potion, we are going to start heading back immediately, regardless of how long we've actually been here. I'm not looking to die and redo all of my gear again. <laughs> Ooh, I think this is a really good one. This, I think this room is, like, awesome. 
Netherite scrap, healing, actually, I'm just going to take that healing potion. Okay, cobalt apple, another healing potion, okay, yes, this is good. I don't have a whole lot of healing potions left, but I do have a little bit. Yep. Oh, mistakes were made. That was... I probably should have seen that coming. Um, take. I should have known that that was going to happen. <laughs> Did it actually give any loot? Oh, babies. Okay. Uh, I do want to explore this place at least a little bit. Because I seem to remember that this room, that this particular, uh, place is generally pretty good. I'm not going to open anything that's sitting directly on top of TNT, though. That seems like a, just a bad life choice right now, given our health situation. I think we'll finish this room, and then we're just gonna leave. I think that's the smart thing to do. Like, look at the, I mean, some of these chests are just insanely good. Oh, uh, another healing potion. Okay, we might stay I mean, if I can get enough healing potions just finding, like, finding them in chests, we might stay longer, but... The big thing is, I, I want to make 100% sure that I get out of here in one piece. Alright, I think that's... most of it. And given that our health situation is pretty bad... I think we should just get out of here. We're heading back. <laughs> right now. We are working our way back towards the starting room. We will do a little bit more exploring, but some of these rooms have been pretty rough to navigate. And I definitely don't want to end up in a situation like the last vault, where we uh, foolishly decide to... Uh, stay too long and then, you know, die because <laughs> we let the timer expire. You know what? I think I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead. We got some decent loot. We got some okay things. Uh, but more importantly, we are in one piece and not dead. And since this is a difficult vault, with the enemies dealing a ton of damage, and since our potion supply is a bit limited, I think I'm just gonna call it and get out of here. So, actual useful things, cobalt apples, hardy apples, golden apples, candy bars, star essence, magnetite, couple of gems, three netherite scrap, which isn't quite enough, uh, another gem there. A mystery egg, mystery boxes, catalyst fragments, relic booster packs, three vault cookies. Also, uh, that reminds me, we actually just leveled up as well. So we have an unspent skill point, but let's go ahead and eat these vault cookies. That'll get us really close to another skill point. And I don't actually know what I want to use my skill point on, but I do know that I want to use my fortune for pickaxe on these and get all those gems, which I believe have their own little spot right over here. There we go. We might as well open the mystery boxes and the relic booster packs right away. So relic booster packs didn't give us anything. We got uh, a tomato. We got uh, candy bars, and we got some bottles of enchanting, and then a little bit of wool. Nothing super great, but eh, whatever. I'll take it. I think that's pretty much it for that vault. Let me get reorganized, and we'll do the third vault. All right, we are all organized again, and it is time for the third and final vault of the episode. I remembered to bring blocks this time. <laughs> what do we got? Gilded, weakened, and easy. Okay. So, actually, this is going to potentially be a really good vault, because Gilded makes uh, Gilded chests more common, 
Weakness makes me a little bit weak, which is unfortunate, but also it's easy. Although I don't know if the level of the vault can drop below zero, because if it was easy, then the vault level would technically be like negative seven or something like that if, I, if you took enough levels off. So like, I don't know. Either way, we are definitely going to loot this place, and I've never really been all that impressed with this room, so I think we're just going to keep exploring. Uh, I will say, I think that as your vault level goes up, the size of the vault also increases, so this may be a relatively small vault, given that A, we're not very high level anyway, and B, um, like, it's even lower than normal, so... We will see. Wow, that's an awful chest. Uh, what about you? Again, pretty bad. That one's a little better. Ooh, netherite scrap. Actually, that's quite good. We need as much of that stuff as we can get. Okay, I, I'm not gonna fight the boss because we have weakness. Although we do actually have candy bars. So, maybe? Probably not. That's probably a terrible plan, right? Like, it is easy. Or easier. Hey, that's a gilded chest. Hello. And a very good one at that. I feel like with weakness... You really shouldn't be looking to fight the boss. But... The candy bars give you strength. Man. Plus, also, with Gilded, like, we're gonna find so many chests. Uh, sure. Spend one minute to get a ton of extra loot? Don't mind if I do. And actually, this has been a very, very good one. That five vault cookies, like, that's a lot of experience at this point in the game. Okay, there's a Gilded chest. Take. So much damage. Oh no. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. Okay, I want this. I'm just gonna take all of this because I don't have time to sort it out. Because there's a thousand zombies hot on my tail and which... I just want to be left alone. We only have one healing potion left, unfortunately. But I don't know that that's necessarily the end of the world. I think we might be just fine. I see another gilded chest. I see a couple of gilded chests, actually. Take all that. Take all that. There's an enemy. Mob spawner. Which direction? Let's go this way. We're down to 10 minutes. Okay, was this the starting room? No, but I think I have looted all of these chests. Yeah, all right, cool. Ooh, okay. This seems like a pretty decent little room. Aha, this is what we were looking for. Okay. Um, before I drop down there, let's get a little bit organized. I do have my hotbar here. And this is... Yeah, so that was definitely a village room. Uh, I don't know that it's actually going to have a portal, though, which is unfortunate. But, still worth peeking around. Ooh, a vault diamond. Is this a library room type thing? Eh, yeah, kind of. Sure, we'll take the rocket arrows too. Hey, there's another gilded chest. We'll do like one more room, and then I think we're gonna head back. Ooh, and it's a crystal caves. So honestly, pretty good final room because you can get all sorts of goodies in here. Like that, and that. Uh, you know what? 
let's play it safe. I think it is time to get out of here. So, that is exactly what we're going to do. It has so many enemies. I mean, this has been an amazing vault for loot, so I definitely do not want to risk any chance whatsoever that we could <laughs> not make it out of here in time. Uh, or in one piece, so let's actually take that potion as well. But yeah, this has been an amazing vault. Okay, I think we're out. I think we've uh, explored everything we're going to explore. We've got two minutes on the vault timer left. I want to make sure that we leave in one piece. There we go. So we are now... Man, this has been an amazing one. So let me organize everything, and then we'll go over what loot we got. Okay, I've taken out the stuff that I didn't think was worth talking about, but in this chest, this is kind of our modded uh, loot. All sorts of good stuff. Some gems, which, uh, I mean, we might as well fortune these. Are there any more ores? Doesn't look like it. It looks like we were a little bit light on modded ores. But, I mean, can't complain. Uh, and then this is our vanilla stuff. So tons of bottles of enchanting, a bunch of gold, enough netherite to make a single netherite piece of gear, uh, whatever that may be. Uh, this is just empty at the moment. We'll just toss that back in there. But all in all, another pretty good haul and nine vault cookies, which should give us at least one more level, I would think. <laughs> Maybe two if we're really lucky. Look at that. Four unspent skill points. So, whew, we got some options. We are level five now. We could get uh, another... Oh, it actually... No. So we could spend two and have haste two, which would be very good. That means we would just have haste two all the time. Uh, that seems like probably something I should spend skill points on. Also, uh, speed, just help us move faster. That would be good. Uh, and then over here in, like, sort of combat skills, there's cleanse, which would allow us to get rid of poison. I think this could actually be really worth it. It's only one skill point, and every 10 seconds we can purge any negative effects we have. So that seems pretty good. We've also got a couple other things, mega jump, things like that. But I think for the most part, I'm interested... How much is five points to permanently remove all fall damage? That, I mean, that wouldn't be bad. Um, we could increase our heart amount. Experienced, I'm not really worried about. I don't uh, experience orbs. We have a Enderman farm, so like we have infinity experience. That I'm not really concerned about. I think we definitely want to go with uh, a second level of haste, so we have haste two, and then the rest of it is up for debate. Drowning immunity. Eh, speed. I mean, we could spend one point in speed, and I, I really do think we should we should take cleanse. This seems like just something really useful for us. And then I guess for the other one, maybe speed. Yeah, just just one level of speed to help us get around a little bit faster. So now we have haste too, just all the time, which is amazing because all of our, I mean, that means we can instamine most things. So that's great. And how fast is, I mean, we are definitely faster. Yeah, we've just got speed. So like, I'm, I'm happy with that as well. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, guys, I think that is a good point. To wrap up the episode, I think loot-wise, we can't complain. I mean, we got a lot of good stuff. We should take a peek. What's our next? Cake. Sea cucumber. Oh, it's just listed as complete, though. 
thing. That can actually happen. You can get one that's just complete right off the bat. It, it essentially rolls a zero for the uh, the number of items required. Uh, and cake, we have a villager trading hall, so we can. This will be easy too. Cool. I sense more vaults in our future. But yeah, guys, I think that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.